Hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. I have more yarn to share with you all. I, um, I've got it here on my new shelf, but I'm going to go ahead and um, share it with you. I went, to, let's see, on the Hobium haul in the last video, I forgot about these three cakes. Um, it's Madame Tricote Paris and it's Trend Cakes. And it's 200 grams, seven ounces, 361 yards, 333 meters, and 100% acrylic. Made in Turkey. The color is 63. Um, this is Party Lot 5. But isn't that pretty? A lot of pretty blues and greens. But I got three. I bought three in a pack. Everything I bought on that Hobium haul, um, I got in packs, so, but yeah, um, let's see, these two kind of start the middle in blue, this one doesn't, you probably have to cut color control anything that you make with that, but let me put it back in here, and then the Michaels haul, I got three of each of these Karen cakes, and I got the idea from one of the patterns, um, free patterns I got at Michaels and realized it was knitting. And yes, I'm trying to knit, but <laughs> I got a lot of practice, and I haven't had a lot of time to practice. Um, I've been out of town two weekends this whole month, and it's a short month. So, anyways, let's see. The first one is it's a Karen cake it is 383 yards 200 grams 80 percent acrylic 20 percent wool it's a number four medium recommended needle and hook size is a five millimeter it's hand wash lay flat to dry um, is what's recommended and the colorway is strawberry truffle and i got three And all the middles match. Pretty close. And then the next color I got, I got three. I don't know where the third one is. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> but um, the specs are the same. It's a Karen cake. And the colors are pretty close. Um, this one, I started to make a blanket and I frogged it and I, so I re, rewound on my bar, on my ball winder. So I've got it, I think kind of backwards, I've got it spun backwards. So I would have to color control this one. But anyways, yep. I started a pattern, um, one of the free patterns at Michael's. And the holes were too big, just too, too big of holes, too many. So I frogged that and um, I need to focus on my, open, my, my active whips anyways right now, which like I said, I'm not gonna share this this weekend because I haven't done a whole lot. Um, nothing's really changed. Nan added a color to um, the Nan Next Knots and my color was number eight. I can show you the color. No, I can't because it's not here. Yeah, it's a gray. It's a tweed gray is my number eight. That'll be my third color. Um, my first, I got my, um, I got the blanket here, but I haven't done the third color yet. So this is my second color. Well, this was week one, week two. My, my color I use every other week, every week. Um, and then the tweed and I don't have it in here. Yeah, I don't have it in here yet. I got to pull it. So, and I'm still unpacking from this weekend from the festival. I went to the steam hatchy fiddler crab festival and I had a lot of fun shopping and I'm going to sh share, um, 
hopefully some videos with you or pictures not on not this week and i need to go through some of the pictures and edit um maybe do a little slideshow um because they were playing a lot of music and i don't want to get copyrighted so every time i video they would you know have a uh a song would would pop on but i had a lot of fun bought some beautiful art and um yeah i want to share that with you i spent the weekend with my mom my daughter my son-in-law and my dad so yeah and you know it was so funny um i don't know if you guys um if you weren't there um trish uh, mama swift had a birthday party oh what did she call it the roast um roast for madonna it was madonna's birthday i finally got what they were talking about but anyways you gotta go watch it, it was friday night and i popped in on um yard stream but anyways and my daughter and my mom got on too i introduced them to madonna and trish but um yeah i just wished her a happy birthday it was her 83rd birthday i believe that's what i was told but anyways, yeah, if you haven't wished Madonna Ballard a happy birthday, um, go on over to her channel and wish her a happy birthday. Give her some love. Um, we all need it um, from time to time. And uh, birthday, those birthdays, when they get up there, I'm sure the more birthday wishes, the better. She has uh, been around for a long time with crochet from what it sounds like. And also Lisa's crochet, she's playing the drums. Happy birthday. And she's saying a beautiful happy birthday to Madonna. You've got a beautiful voice, Lisa. Ah! <laughs> she was so funny. We had, it just, you guys crack me up, you know, and laughter is good for the soul. So anyways, that is it for the other night. Hang on a second, I got a dog that has to go potty. I do have more yarn. Hold on. Okay. I almost forgot where it was at because the dog was distracting me. Um, before I go on to more of my haul, I want to show you something. I did something kind of like Crystal does, and I'm sure a lot of other crocheters and knitters do. I rescued a piece of fiber art from a thrift store in High Springs. There was a price tag of two dollars on this you guys are not going to believe it two dollars scarf look at this is that not beautiful they had some um yarn in there but i didn't buy any of the yarn they were like little they were scrap balls basically is that not beautiful? But it's knit. But anyways, I rescued it. Even though I live in Florida. <laughs> and another thing I found, yes, I copied Crystal, but I have doilies. I have a lot of statues and I do have a lot of old doilies. This, I'm not too sure if this is I, think, I don't think it's handmade. It may be, but it's got roses on it. Is that not pretty? But I'm going to put that on the top of my fireplace so it doesn't get scratched. I do have one doily up there, but it's only under the three greyhounds under the TV. But I want to do the whole surface. So we'll see. But anyways, this was $2. No, this was $3. But I don't, I don't know. Can you tell me? I think this is probably machine made I don't think it's handmade but it might be but I don't think so I really don't think so but it's beautiful very pretty and I got it to protect my fireplace they don't make things like they used to you know so yep so you ready for the rest of the haul it's hot in here I have so much stuff to show you guys, so let's see. We're at, well, I restarted, didn't I? Because I had to let a dog out. But, okay, I went to Michael's and I got some impeccable because I wanted to get yarn for, I want to make Pamela's Adoring Crochet's cardigan. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start it, but um, 
I bought some black impeccable and I also bought like a deep gray. Um, anyways, the color is, what is the color? Thunder. And it's in number four. And it's impeccable yarn. Loops and thread, Michael's yarn. And everything is upside down. 285 yards of skein. It's a number four medium, 4.5 ounces, 260 meters, 127.5 grams. Recommended a five millimeter hook and knitting needles. And I think it's machine wash. I'm not sure. I don't know how to read those emblems. But anyways, yep, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. And these, this yarn was $3.99 plus, I think I had a 20% off coupon. And I also got it in, excuse me, your highness wants in now. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. And I bought black and I believe I bought one, two, three, four, five, six. I bought six black in the impeccable and the color is called black. So I'm debating thunder or black. I'm af afraid I won't be able to see for this. So I don't know. I still have a little bit of time. And then in another color I got was, I pulled these off the top shelf. shelf. Um, these are called teal. Gosh, this is so pretty. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? But I got six of these. They were all in the bag, so I just grabbed the bags. Don't sit in my spot, mister. I don't know why. The last couple of weeks, he's been, a couple days, he's been sitting in my spot. He was in my spot. Was it, no, Thursday night, and then I left Friday, and now he's in my spot again. So I got six of these in teal, and then I bought six of this color, and it's called, I believe, aqua or something. Sea green. Sea green. It's not green. Isn't that pretty? But I got six of those. Okay. And then I couldn't stop there. Michael's had the Cozy Wool Merino on clearance. And it's a nice, it's a nice yarn. It's a number three, um, 55% super wash merino and 45% anti-pilling. Number three, this color's fuchsia. And I got four, and there's one more down there. So I got five of them in fuchsia. Is that not pretty? So pretty. Do I have room up here? I'm going to have to move some stuff around, but here's number five. And let's use that. That's ba this basket. And then I got, I only got three of these in cream. Don't ask me why I only got three. But there is a lot of yardage. Um, I forgot to tell you, 410 yards. So 410, it's got, this color's cream. It's a light three, US five knitting needle or a US G6 or four millimeter crochet hook. Five point, no, 55% superwash merino, 45% anti-pilling acrylic. This is really nice yarn. I got it in cream. And I also got it in gray. 
Is that great? Yep, it says gray. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty gray. It's a nice yarn. It is, again, cozy wool merino. I believe it was $3.99. And then I got it in black. I got mm, three in black. Let me see. Three. Yeah, that's impeccable. One, two, three, four, five, six impeccable, six in thunder, and then three in the superwash merino. But this is nice, 410 yards, so I can make a wearable. Very nice. They had some like um, skeins that had like the gray tan and cream in it. They had a few left. I wish I would have got them, but I didn't. I don't know. I'm not real good matching colors. I always, if I buy multicolors, you know, it's like Karen cakes, but I don't know. I probably should have got it. I wish I would have bought a tan. So, but anyways, that is, I believe it for my yarn haul from Michaels. And then I bought some yarn from a company in Bulgaria, Bulgaria. Yeah. And um, I had the receipt. I went out of town. Wait, maybe it's right here in my book. Please be it, please be it, please be it. No. Okay. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Okay. I know what the receipt. I don't have it. It's it's somewhere around here, but it wasn't legible. The receipt was in another language. And um, I want to say in American dollars on my um, PayPal, I paid, um, it was one, like 160 something. Whoa, Marley. Miss Marley wants to say hello. You say hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. You want to say hello to my kitty girl. She got to come in and say hello to her mama before bedtime, huh? Huh? Yes. Yes. She likes to sleep with her daddy. Yeah. You said so good, girl. Okay. Okay. Mwah. Go. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Okay. That's enough. You got to go lay down. Okay. Because I got to show yarn. Go lay down. All right. Anyways, let me show you this gorgeous yarn. And it's thin yarn, but it's gorgeous. All right. And you guys probably know where it's from. The first one. I'm going to make a mess. <laughs> this has got wool in it. It's got 50% cotton, 10% mohair, 20% wool, 20% acrylic. 900 meters, so it probably has a thousand yards. Look at that. Isn't that not beautiful? If you like green. But yeah, it's soft. It's got some fuzz. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little bit of fuzz. Yeah. So, but yeah. So I got one of those, and it's called, you guys have seen this donut. From Plo, from Plo, Plov, Plovdiv, Bulgaria, and the yarn is Stanelli, and the website is www.stanelliyarn.com. So you guys can screenshot that. But I would say it's a number four got two yarns in it. Fuzzy. I love it. And then I'll wrap it up later. The next the next donut, same specs. They the color, they don't have a color name. Nope. It doesn't even have a number. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? A little different than the other one. 
but it's really soft. Same specs as the other one, just a different colorway. And it has those little wooden pulls, a little like lucky charm. Okay, and the next one is Tyramisu, Tyramisu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. It's Bulgarian. <laughs> Look at these colors! Isn't that beautiful? But Crystal has shown this yarn, so you guys have probably seen it before. But yeah, it's 60% cotton, 30% merino, 10% acrylic, 900 meters. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And one day, I pray I get good enough to make something wearable out of this. I mean, I'm almost there. I can make sweaters and cardigans, but I, I want to make stuff out of thinner yarns. I just got to keep on trying. All right. That's what I want to learn to knit. And, um, yeah, I didn't get much knitting done this weekend. The next one is a cotton cake. Plenta is where I ordered mine from, Plenta. But you can get it probably from either website. But it is 100% cotton, natural soft cotton. It's a thousand meters. Look at that. And it's thin, it's thin. It's probably a number one. The other one's probably a number four doesn't have the number. This says two and a half hook. So you know that's thin. This one says three to four hook. Four to five to six knitting needle. I think that's a knitting needle. It looks like oars, you know, rowing oars. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, what's next? Beautiful colors. I don't know, I'm missing a couple. I've had these a while and I haven't had a chance to share them with you guys. But look at that. And oh, the ball band came off. It's called Candy. And Candy is. A number two fine. This one has the number. Wonder why these don't. Maybe it's covered up. No, they just don't have it. But this is a number two fine. It's called Candy. Look at that. And it's beautiful. So the other one is thicker than this one. So maybe this one's a number, a thin three or a thick two. Whoa. I'm sorry, y'all. Hang on. <laughs> Doesn't want to go around my fingers. There we go. It's a little, this one is a little bit thicker. This is one strand, and this is like three strands. No, two strands. No, three strands. Can you see that? There's three strands. Two of the red and one of the, the coral looking. But, yep. Beautiful yarn. This is very soft. And it is, let me see, is it 100% of cotton? Yeah, it's 100% soft cotton. 900 meters. And then my last one. I feel like there was more than that. And I guess not. But you know, I decorate with my yarn. There's no telling. I could have put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. This is another candy. Number two, fine. Oh, it's so pretty. Look! Is that 
that gorgeous? Stanelli candy. 900 meters, 100% soft cotton. It's a number two. And if you can read that, that's how you care for it. I would hand wash it and hand dry, or <laughs> flat to dry, anything that I make. So, yeah, we work too hard for that to just throw it in the washer and dryer. Unless it was like a washcloth or something, you know what I mean? But yeah, as far as blankets or wearables, no, I wouldn't risk it. We put too much time and effort into it, I feel, but that's me. But uh, that's it for my uh, Bulgarian haul and Michael's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll get back on here because I want to share my weekend at the Crab Fest. And uh, or it's the Fiddler Crab Fest. I keep leaving the word Fiddler out. in Steenhatchee, Florida. Um, I had a great time. And there was a big turnout. So, yeah. And, uh. I already had COVID, so <laughs> fingers crossed. Because <laughs> nobody wore masks. So, anyways, I love you all. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.